How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jeff Benjamin with iDownload Blog. I am showing you one of my favorite jailbreak tweaks of all time, and it is called Swipe Selection. Now, if you've been following me, you know what I think about this tweak. It has recently been redesigned from the ground up for iOS 7. In the preferences, you'll see a kill switch. You have a new triple tap option to disable swipe selection right from the keyboard without having to go into the settings. You have the swipe area field, which allows you to designate a certain specific area to swipe. So you have the everything but spacebar, spacebar, and normal, of course. You have sensitivity settings, which allow you to adjust the sensitivity of your swipes. And you also have the swipe speed. This adjusts how fast the cursor moves when you swipe using swipe selection. Last but not least, you have a three finger swipe, which is more designated uh, for the iPad, the larger screen on the iPad. You have more real estate there, but I will try to demonstrate it with the iPhone uh, just to show you how it works. So let me showcase to you why swipe selection is always at the very top of my must have jailbreak tweak list. Um, let me show you how you normally move your cursor within an app. You have to tap and hold, use a little magnifying glass. That's really annoying. It's hard to get precision cursor movement using that. But with swipe selection, look what you can do. You can swipe right on iOS's keyboard and get to the exact location that you wanna to get to, the exact cursor positioning that you wanna to get to, and it's super precise. Trust me on this one. Look how precise you just swipe on the keyboard and you can move your cursor just like that. So easy to do so easy to use, and it's just a great tweak. Now you can also swipe from the shift key to highlight, just like that. <laughs> That's excellent, isn't it? So you can actually highlight your text using that little shift key. You can move your cursor with swipe selection to the exact, for instance, I'm gonna move it right before this uh, sentence here. I'm gonna swipe to select all this text. You can just keep on swiping to select all the text you wanna select. I'll select this whole sentence using Swipe Selection Pro, and there you go. Not only can you do that, but you can also swipe from the delete key and swipe in the opposite direction. Now, if you have the option enabled, you can triple tap on the shift key to disable swipe selection. So I just triple tapped and I'm trying to swipe now and swiping isn't working. Uh, so that is how you disable it. If you want to disable it, if it's interfering with something you're doing, you can disable it and then triple tap again on the shift key to re-enable it just like that. Now I'm gonna use the three finger swipe to move to the beginning of the, of the document. You see, I just did it there. I'm gonna swipe in the opposite direction with three fingers and move to the end and swipe back to move right back to the beginning. So again, this is more useful for the larger real estate of the iPad, but I just wanted to show you that the three finger swipe did work to move to the beginning or end of a document. Now this swipe area option allows you to designate a specific area to swipe. And I'm gonna show you that along with the new faster or fastest setting in swipe selection. So you can see I have designated just the keyboard itself, not the space bar to swipe. You can see the swipes are fast. And if I try to swipe on the space bar, nothing happens because I've designated uh, the space bar to be a dead zone, so to speak, and you cannot swipe there. So everything but the space bar, now I just have just the space bar enabled and watch what happens here. So when I don't swipe on the space bar, um, it does not enable swipe selection. Of course, you can still swipe from the shift and delete keys, but if you wanna just move your cursor, not actually highlight text, you have to swipe from the space bar. And also at the same time, notice that the swiping is a lot slower because we reduce the speed of the swiping in the settings here. So we'll set the swipe area back to default uh, we have the speed, we'll set that back to normal. Well, let's set it to faster, that'll be better. And let's adjust the sensitivity. Now, this is a little hard for me to be able to show you on uh, video. It doesn't really translate well on video, but I'll try. Um, basically, what this does is it, it reduces the sensitivity uh, to tell when you want to actually enable or enact swipe selection, when you wanna actually use swipe selection. So if you're having problems with swipe selection accidentally kicking in while, while you're typing, this will be a good option to enable the reduce mode. Otherwise, I would just keep it at normal. So this is normal swiping, and it pretty much feels the same. Unless you're actually banging out a post, you're actually typing something, you're probably not gonna notice the difference between those two. So you can just play with those. If you're typing a long document, uh, it may be handy for you to use.
So this is Swipe Selection Pro. It does require iOS 7. It is $1.99 on Cydia's Big Boss Repo. Well worth the price. This is the ultimate tweak for typers. If you do any kind of typing whatsoever on your iPad, on your iPhone, you need this tweak. Let me know what you guys think about Swipe Selection Pro in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.